Um, this idea has been thought through by our previous chairman in, 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 in discussion with the Merck family, and they wanted to set up a, a successful scale, a scale player in the life science tools industry because it has good financial, uh, good financial prospects. It's a, it's, it's a market that has really good, solid trends uh, driving it. And they said, look, look at the full industry. Tell us what you want to do. Six weeks later, we went and we, then we said, look, the market is attractive overall, and it can be broken into three segments, research, process, and applied, three types of customers. Um, we think we know what it takes to succeed. And in order to fulfill those success factors, it will take us five to 10 years uh, to get there organically. And inorganically, there is this one acquisition we could do which could accelerate everything. There was general strategic alignment. Um, there was financial alignment because we were signing up for pretty high, high end synergies and I was the guy who was <laughs> going to take charge of it. So nobody else really was that worried. They were like, okay, he's, he's gonna be accountable. We, we can just say yes. Um, but there was an interesting dynamic which, which, I, um, which was a first for me. Being 70%, over 70% family owned gives us a very unique position, right? We are able to look really strategically in the long term and bet on those trends. Um, and we're able to make decisions really fast. There was a point in August when we were negotiating the final deal and it was a very small group of us um, where, we, where we had gone to the limit that had been approved by our board as a premium for the deal. Our chairman picked up the phone and he called the head of the Merck family, Frank Stangberg Haberkamp. And they had already in the past been talking about acquiring Sigma. And so what he wanted to do is get permission from the board to increase the premium just a little bit. Right? And usually that would take another board meeting, that would take another month, sometimes a quarter, uh, that would delay the momentum we already had in the deal. Um, so our chairman at the time called the head of the Merck family. He walked over from the other building. This was in Darmstadt, around 8 p.m. Darmstadt, Germany, around 8 p.m. of that evening. Um, and he asked him, he said, we want to go to this point. He said, okay, give me five minutes. The guy picked up his flip phone, went into the other room, called somebody and came back and said, okay, you have this much more. And then of course, we were able to strike the deal that evening.